we use the same format. Everything pretty much looked the same. The same time frames. People still created their same uh, you, uh, nomination speeches. They answered the same. Fewer questions this year than they did last year. The big difference was FTC election. that is brand new. This is the first time that we've had elections for the Funds Dissemination Committee. Uh, most people know what the Funds Dissemination Committee is. Yeah? That's pretty good. You're all pretty involved with comedians, too. The fact that you're here tells us this. Uh, the FTC, as we'll say from now on because it's too many letters otherwise, uh, is a subcommittee of the board. It is a committee that reports to the board and makes recommendations to the board. It doesn't exist by itself. Uh, it's not mentioned in the bylaws of the organization. And the board has set it up so that we can have community members part actively elected to this committee. Uh, so this is the first time that we were actually having some elections for this. We had almost as many candidates for the FDC as we did for the board of directors, uh, the board of trustees which is sort of an interesting situation. It was a surprise. Um, and we also have an FDC ombud, uh, and that was an appointed position the first time around and is now a community position. And so these were two positions that we had planned for when we got appointed to the election committee to have to deal with. Um, and that took a lot of our time and our energy was building the election process for these two particular positions. But as well, it also meant that we had a really complicated looking ballot. Um, how many of you voted in the election? And was this year's ballot more complicated than last year's? The last time around? Was this time this ballot more complicated than the last one? Not really. Not really? And how many people opened it up and actually managed to get off down to the bottom and hit submit? We had almost 500 people who never got as far as hitting the submit button, which is, incidentally, almost a third as many people as actually voted. <laughs> so that's a big deal. People never got to the bottom of that ballot. Uh, so it made for a complicated ballot. And one of the things that we discovered as we were going along, we had this grand plan of actually having two separate secure polls happening. One for the FPC, one for the board, so that people you know, could go back and forth and research people, the candidates as they were going through. And it turns out that you can't actually run two movement-wide secure polls at the same time and still actually have the security functions. So we could run them, but we had no security functions on one of them. <laughs> so that was not going to help. So we knew then that we might have to look at software issues in the future. So any questions about elections themselves uh, and issues that we've run into and challenges that we found and how things have changed? OK, I got to talk about referenda now. Oh, John, sorry. Uh, do we have a mic? No, we don't. No. <laughs> um, what was the rationale uh, going to internally managed uh, elections? Uh, the, rash the question is, what was the rationale for going to an internally hosted uh, election? And one of the major rationales was that uh, SBI was the m one of the most unreliable links 
we would be ready to have the uh, election results posted, you know, produced, and they may not be available for 24 hours. And given how time, how important the time and results were, it was a big deal. And they were difficult, especially when we were having so many difficulties ourselves in getting a voter list completed and secure polls set up. Um, they always added several days to the process in the past. And we barely got the election running a week late this time. And that literally, we were testing an hour before that election went live. So, Vishaka. OK, you know uh, what you said earlier about that the, it's clear from what you've shown us that part of the problem was that you know, a bunch of people who started out intending to vote never finished the process. So the complexity of it, as well as having all these ballots at the same place and time. Other than that, you know, even though there may be many other factors, are there any that you can think of that <coughs> would be particularly important in explaining this huge drop in voters? Uh, Bishaka's question is whether I, aside from the uh, complexity of the ballot, if there were other factors that I personally had identified. Um, Myself, I think that there may be a change in the way that the community places importance on the board. Um, two years ago, we were just starting to have a foundation staff. There are questions that people used to take to board members are now going to WMF staff. Um, so even though you're still the guys that are signing the checks, the community doesn't see you the same way. Um, that, that's a personal perspective, but it's one that's sort of come back. Uh, yes. Do you have statistics on um, which Wikipedia's the voters are mainly from? I guess it's English. And the, my question is because um, in my Wikipedia, just Hungarian Wikipedia, I don't know about anybody who knows voters. Uh, good question. Uh, the question is about further statistics, statistical information from the uh, voters. And the answer to the question is, we'll probably know in a couple of days. Uh, we had to wait until the board officially approved the result and accepted the new members before we could run any further statistics on the data. Uh, and Philippe, you've got a question, but maybe you can actually I actually answer. Have a, I have a, 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 a supposition in answer to Fischalka's question earlier. <laughs> okay. Um, I think another factor in the suppressed turnout may have been the fact that in the past, when it came time for an election, we essentially cleared the board with banners. And, and nothing else had a banner running during the election. And this year we didn't do that because there were too many other banners also running that were important. Um, so I think possibly that's one factor. As for statistics, yes, they're coming. <laughs> yeah, uh, th that's a very good question. Um, my guess is going to be that it's entirely possible that we will have more members from German Wikipedia uh, participating in the election than English Wikipedia. It would not surprise me at all to see that. Uh, 
Last year's ARPCOM election was about 850 participants, so it's about half of what you got. We have the global participation uh, for the Board of Trustees. Katie. Um, the English Wikipedia signpost actually did a rough estimate of how many people voted from which Wikipedia um, mm -hmm. about a day and a half, two days before the election closed. English Wikipedia had about three eighth of the votes, and then German with about just an eighth. Italian, French, Spanish, Commons, Polish, Chinese, and then Italian, and then others in that order. So. English and German would be one pretty well based on that information, yes, thank you. Okay, any other questions about elections? Yeah. John? Um, question. You mentioned that on the, all of the 500 uh, votes that didn't proceed to submit, were that voters or people who have written the form, do you have the granularity of the um, analysis to know that there were different people that never completed it? Uh, yes. James would be able to answer that question. I didn't look that close. Yeah. So you've got the usernames, basically, yeah. and they didn't ever do it. Cool. I didn't question why they have to do it. No, no, I'm just making sure. It makes it easier for the election to be rigged. If you summarize what the vote is, you can summarize the election being, what's the, yeah. what's the ease of bringing the election? Well, it's not or, the or gaming the election. How much yeah. was it looked to you? Someone taking over one of the smaller weeklies and then, you know, up the number of users and then swing the election. Uh, I don't know that it's any easier or harder because we have this really wildly diverse community that has access. So I mean, um, you, you have to have some communities which are very not diverse, like one or two and there's Well, that's it, but they're only ever going to get one or two votes. Well, um, okay. Something that perhaps people don't realize is that we can actually do the equivalent of check users on all of the votes. So we can make sure that uh, there's no parallel IP addresses and you know, like there's not two people editing from the same IP address and things like that. Um, this, is, this is one thing I will compare between uh, the election and the uh, personal image filter referendum that we did two years before. Uh, I think we knocked out about 100 saw puppet votes in the uh, image filter referendum. We had zero saw puppets in the board election. We didn't have to discount a single vote. First time in history. And it's the first time ever that that's happened. So if nothing else, people are being very up upfront and honest. I'm going to move on now to referenda because um, I know we're we have to be aware of people's time. We're actually a little over already. Everybody, <coughs> how many of you participated in the licensing update referendum in 2009? So, some, and probably many of you who didn't participate weren't participants at the time. Okay. And how many of you took part of the part in the uh, personal image referendum in 2011? Really? The personal image filter referendum, the one that had like all six questions. Wow. That's a surprise. That is a huge surprise. Yeah. Okay, so the licensing update was a referendum that everybody got to participate in. All of the projects, uh, there were again banners everywhere about this. There were over 1,700, 17,000 participants. It ran for about six weeks. And it had one question where you basically said, yes, you agree to add an additional license, no, you thought it was a bad idea, or you didn't have an opinion. That was the whole, the whole referendum, that was the one question, and everybody knew that whatever the result was, was what was going to get recommended to the board. Pretty straightforward, pretty well a, a textbook example of a referendum. Uh, and it, it worked very well. We got a lot of response to it. 17,000 people participated in that. That's pretty good. Now, this one is what really surprises me that I saw so few hands now. Uh, the image filter referendum had over 24,000 participants. And the licensing ran for six weeks, and the image filter run ran for two and a half weeks. There were 
were six questions, and they were in a survey format. They had optional write-in responses. The results of this were an absolute nightmare, and nobody could interpret them. <laughs> absolute nightmare. So basically what we did was we had a survey, and we called it a referendum. And that's actually one of the things that we, we took away from that particular episode was don't call something a referendum unless it really is a John, you got a question? Yeah. Um, was the 2009 licensing up update only logged in users and the image referendum um, anonymous users? Pardon me? Uh, was I, the image neither of them allowed anonymous. Okay. Neither of them were allowed anonymous. You had to have, there was were the some slight different? differences in the, um, no, actually, they were both very low bar. Low bar, but it was slightly. Uh, the image filter one was a little bit lower, but not by much. Comparable. Okay. It was comparable. Thank you. Uh, because basically anybody who had made a contribution had licensed their contribution, so their opinions were important. Yes? Uh, was this posted on every Wikipedia? Yes. This was I don't, was I don't remember ever seeing That's it. And, and there were banners everywhere, and we were getting constantly yelled at for, for the banners everywhere. So. That was a very important lesson that we took from that. Um, this was also an example of where the, per the committee that was running the referendum didn't really see their role as anything other than the actual mechanics of running the referendum, and then was surprised to find out that they were actually supposed to have taken those questions and edited them and made them better and, and done something else with them. So. Being clear as to what your committee is supposed to do is pretty important. That, well, that was a big challenge for us. So I want to leave you with a bit of food for thought. One of them is that when we were running the elections this year, it was pretty obvious that nobody really has a good idea as to how to uh, determine what the best voting methods are. Uh, We've used uh, approval voting for a long time for And then we went to the Schultz method. And what a lot of people didn't realize was that the Schultz method actually is two different methods. And one is for multiple winners, and one is for a single winner. And we've always used the single winner, even when we were trying to get the multiple winner results. So we weren't even doing it right. And then <laughs> this year we were doing, uh, we used support, neutral, and polls. And people complained that it was too easy to game, but quite honestly, it's just as easy. You can find a way to game any of these systems. So, you know, coming up with a, a good discussion and, and some good logic and some good research onto what is best is a great idea. And so, one of, that's one of the reasons why uh, many of us who've been on the election running end of things have said we need a standing committee. Uh, and the other is to figure out some of the suffrage and, and develop forms and processes and uh, look at one other thing that we've been talking about, which is, is secure poll the right way for us to run elections? Not to in any way denigrate the, uh, the developers who initially developed secure poll, but it hasn't been able to keep up with a lot of the changes and the improvements that we've made in media wiki. As I said, it gets used once, twice a year. Uh, so it's very hard to justify putting a lot of technical resources into improving it and maintaining it and making sure that people understand how to run it. So it is something that has, has to be weighed as to whether we want to do that or we want to start looking at maybe we do the board votes on uh, one of the various organizations that runs the boats and actually can do a lot of the other work for us as well. I'm not the one who's going to make that decision, but I think it's something that, it's a discussion that we need to have. And I don't want to have to be on, on the committee who runs that discussion. <laughs> just, just to be clear. <laughs> uh, and the other one was looking at the wide referendum. You really got to have a referendum. Make sure that you actually have a very clear question and that everybody knows what will happen based on the result of that question. Uh, we didn't have that with the personal image filter, and it became a huge political football for everybody, because it, it really was a survey. 
and it made it very difficult for everybody to deal with, uh, all the way from the board down to the people who were, you know, talking about it uh, on their individual projects. It was a real problem. So, any questions? Any ideas? Suggestions? We, we actually do have a board member here in Bashaka. Uh, so if you've got any suggestions for them, <laughs> this is a great just time to say something actually, uh, which is that we are considering. I mean, the board has asked a couple of us who are board members to make draft a proposal for the standing elections committee. So if we do have any thoughts and the meeting just ended yesterday, so we will get out the process soon. But if people do have thoughts. Maybe even consider volunteering to be on the next <laughs> committee in future years. There you go, John, a new task for you. <laughs> yes? Does someone consider an electoral register? Is there uh, a standing election committee that you know, The know. electoral register is based on, on uh, your activity on your project. And that's something that is easily pulled at any time. Um, there are voting criteria, it's usually you know, 300 or 400 active votes in a certain period of time or active edits in a certain period of time. And no, 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 you don't have to opt in. That's, that's automatically good. You, the, the voter list is run by the top. Okay. Any other questions? Great. More a suggestion. Yeah. Um, that maybe uh, there's an individual grant or something like that that could be on to look at developing the software. Um, it's obviously not uh, coordinated or community foundation, but not a priority. Maybe there's room for you know, some software development by an individual. Uh, actually, it's, it's considered security software. It has to be done in-house. I'm pretty sure it's open source. So. Uh, maybe <laughs> I, it may be open source, but it would, it would be done in-house. Okay. Uh, well, that would I, be, you know. I, it's conceivable that that's involved. Yeah, some volunteer assistance. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that would, it would have to be reviewed in house. Yeah, you have to be reviewed to make sure it's, yeah. 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 it's good, but Peter. you're changing your mind. Yeah. Peter? Yeah. Uh, considering, I mean, that there are not so many referenda, so one every every two or three years, actually. Yeah. But I, I'm thinking, I also consider that I have never seen this 2011 referendum <laughs> not announced, not the result, nothing about it, and I'm really leading everywhere. Uh, I'm thinking of whether the banner is the right method to announce it. I mean, if you really have a referendum every two years, I would say you could send me a top page message with a book to say there is a referendum, please don't forget it. Uh, of course, not if that happens every six weeks or so, that, that would be too much. Yeah. But, but for something that's really you know, a movement wide. Um, I don't know if a banner is a good thing. I cl I clicked them away if I have something to do where I need where I need the entire screen. Uh, because they clutter my watch list. Uh, so and if I come and want to make an urge to edit I might not even see that. And then we sent out emails etc. too. Yeah. We didn't say we, we tried and I I'm pretty sure we even sent out the notifications on all the way. You sent some yeah. nearly nearly million emails yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we try very hard to get this. Like, it, it's, it's a hard question because with every time you look at it, how do we get the information out there? Um, personally, I love to have those new notifications once they're everywhere, force one in there to everybody and stuff. Like, we're always looking for more ways. Well, it's been a pleasure, and uh, I'll be around for the rest of the conference. I'm sure people will me here and there. Uh, and I know we're, we're well past our time today, so I will just close it and thank everybody for coming and 